Thank you very much. Uh, the next is um, David McGimsey, Condal, Condal, Condal Retirement Village. Well. <clears throat> May I say just at the start that I do wear two hearing aids, so I hope I'm speaking at the right volume for you, and I hope to receive you. It's fine. I'm speaking to the submission that was made by the residents of Condal Village on the uh, condition of Condal Avenue from the Ayarangi Matson's Corner up to uh, Bly's Road. This stretch of avenue is the address for places like Laidor College, Condal Retirement Village and the Oceana Healthcare Village, which has just been opened. It is also the main route to Waimari Primary School, Best Start Preschool and Lollipops Kindergarten. These are all 30 to 100 metres from the Condal and Blyes Road corner. All these colleges, retirement villages, schools generate a lot of daily transport and pedestrian movements by vehicles, bikes, scooters and skateboards and by foot. You can probably well imagine by the places I've just outlined there, there is all types of transport. It is imperative there are smooth and safe surfaces for all this human movement by footpath and road. The footpath and surfaces of this stretch of Condal Avenue have not been at a safe, acceptable standard since the damage that was caused by the city earthquakes and have deteriorated every year since. A major factor, but not the only one, but a major factor of this is the fact that the crown of the road was hugely pushed up into the air by the earthquakes. And it is now well above the level of the footpaths and the gutters. The submitted visual presentation of random photos shows you in some way illustrating what we are dealing with. The photo of the part car on a lean is the result of the crown of the road being pushed up to the extent of what it is. Many cars that need to park on Condal Avenue, when they open the door of the car, it scrapes on the footpath, which is not good because the car is on so much of a lean. Our submission implores the council to carry out major restructuring of this whole section of the avenue to rectify an increasingly dangerous situation for everyone and particularly the children of all ages and the number of senior residents who walk, many with sticks and frames, and drive on this carriageway. Both these age groups are prone for, to easily trip, stumble and fall on cracks, ridges, potholes and bumps, which you will see there is plenty of. It is appreciated that this work will require allocation of funds. But putting that to one side, I would say that this is very much a decision on health and safety for citizens of all ages. I hope you will be able to give this your due consideration. Thank you for your listening. Thank you. I, I wanted to acknowledge the photographs that you sent through in support of the submission as well. They're, they're sort of quite, um, quite good at Probably, yeah. Um, so thank you for that because they do give a very um, clear indication of this um, status of the um, of the roads, and I think we're going to get to quickly look at those. So these you can, are, these you are can see there, see that the condition of the guttering, and in yeah. one place there with the gutter, um, well, in several places there was so much damage. We now just have bare shingle in the bottom of the gutter. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, all right. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, Jimmy, this is severe damage in particular condo. Have you have you talked to your the local community board or talked to the council staff beforehand? Yes, I'm pleased you asked that. And What's I. What's the response? 
Thank you. I'm pleased you asked that, and I was going to mention it. We did have um, Emma Norrish, who is the chairperson of the uh, community board for our area, uh, speaking at our village um, a few weeks ago, and it was a good opportunity for Emma to be made aware of what we're dealing with. Um, she was not aware of it, and after the meeting, went out and did quite a bit of walking up and down, and communicated with me later that she did not realise there was so much damage there, and that there are so many people have to try and negotiate that damage. Whether it's right or wrong, I don't know, but I, I'm pretty sure she did say that it is on your works agenda, but for another three or four years out, mm. and we would contend that this is really not um, soon enough for the amount of people involved, the age groups involved, and the damage that has been incurred. Thank you. Look, thank you, thank, thank you for your submission. Um, thank you for presenting it in a way that's very clear, and um, we, we appreciate all of the effort that you've gone to to make your submission today. So thank you. Thank you.